Morning folks, this is Joe Azu here. Uh, I recently installed Windows 10 on my laptop and I no longer have the ability to use my wireless internal card and my wife or my sorry my Wi-Fi internal card and my wired Ethernet port on my HMI or my PC here. Now let me just show you what happens here. First off, if I hit the Wi-Fi button here on my laptop, uh, so now I have this new thing called airplane mode in, in Windows 10. I have airplane mode. So uh, airplane mode there, interesting. Uh, didn't have that before Windows 7. And if I go down here to the lower left-hand corner, or right-hand corner, and click on this icon here, hmm, you can see here Wi-Fi is turned off. So if I click this button right here, uh, it'll go out and it'll search for Wi-Fi. Then, then it turns right back off. Look at that. So yeah, I click it again. Look. So uh, that's weird. So let's go into here. And if I go into these newfound settings here, uh, I'll click on Wi-Fi over here and watch this. You can see it here. I'll turn it on. Look at, I'll let go. Look at, oh, oh, right there, right back off. See, lost again. So, so what, what is going on here? This is really interesting. So maybe if I go into the properties of uh, the adapters, let's go here. So you can see what I've got here. Uh, these are the ones I've used for many years. Uh, whoops. So you got your regular Ethernet here. Your uh, I don't know what this thing is here, but I can't get it to connect right now. So what I found, if I disable this, this uh, NP cap, whatever loop cap, and then if I go back to Wi-Fi here, uh, oops, not that service. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Right here, this guy. Let's see if it turns on now. Hey, look, it's connected to my internet. No more free internet. This is the name of my network here. For many years, I had it uh, unsecured, and then. Found a lot of freeloaders who were on there, so I finally secured it. But so now I'm on the I'm on the internet and uh, it's connected. So great, okay, so that's perfect. Now what I would normally do then is I would take a wired Ethernet cable and I would connect it to my Ethernet port here because I want to play with some localized I/O here. So uh, before I do that, let me let me uh, oh look at there, there's that tool. Okay, so let me go down here. Let me type. Go to the DOS prompt. I just want to show you something here. So if I type IP config here, make this a little bigger, you can see that uh, the wireless adapter, I've gotten this IP address right here. Perfect. Okay, great. Now watch this. I'm going to go ahead and connect, plug in a wired Ethernet cable. There you might have heard it click. Look at, look at it going. Uh-oh. What? What happened here? What, what happened here to this guy? This guy just shut off. So, okay, so if we go over here and we can see now that the Ethernet adapter here has this number and but the wireless is uh whatever it turned off so okay we'll go back here let's see you know i'll just turn you back on there you go turn. but what happened there you see that let me make this in the background so you can see the screen i'll shrink that one down and see watch i'll i'll turn it on so uh very interesting there so what i've done uh, i found some other hardware that i'm using and uh, i'm going to disconnect the wired cable from there and look once i disconnect the wired cable from my laptop my laptop automatically kicks back to wi-fi so it appears that with windows 10 uh, at least with the real tech uh, card that's in this hp laptop i have uh, you can't have both of these run at the same time it looks like so what i'm going to use is an external wi-fi device with uh, into my usb port so, and you can see it here and there's the. So let's see if I can use this. Uh, well, this. Uh, yeah, I got two things here. I have a wired port connected to this external USB, and I also have a Wi Fi. So if I go here to this guy, and uh, well, let's go over here to this here. We'll see Wi Fi 2. Let's turn this one off. Go ahead and turn this one on. Let's see if it connects. Sure does. Now I wonder, can I have both of these on at the same time? Let's see. Well, look at that. Wow, that's pretty cool. So what if I go down here to the DOS prompt? Let's just take a look here at the configuration. And uh, uh, well, let me try it again here. That's interesting. These show disconnected, really? That's uh, interesting because if we go here, they're both connected. Hmm, that's really interesting. How could that be?
So this is Wi-Fi 2 here. And uh, yeah, that's weird. Well, it makes you wonder what uh, the Wi-Fi 2 is only one on. That one says on there. What's it doing over here, though? So that, okay. So when, let's uh, try this. Let's go here. Let's see. That says it's connected. That's Wi-Fi 2, yeah. What about this guy? Let's connect here. Let's see if I can get both of them going at the same time. Well, uh, look at here. We looks like we got the, the icons. Okay. So let's try this again. Oh, fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Look at that. The onboard one now is working, and this one's working. So let's try the same test. Let's take that wired Ethernet cable. Let's connect it to the Ethernet port here on my laptop. Oh, also notice this NP cap thing is disabled. Uh, oh, and what happened just there? Look at there. Look what just happened. It, it turned this one off and said, I'm going to go I'm gonna go with this guy. Isn't that fascinating? Well, why would you do that? We had both of them run. This says good here. Why, why is this guy no longer? Probably has something to my home router. But it says it's connected there. That's fascinating. What do we got over here? Interesting. This one is still working. The onboard one is, but the number two that I added went off. That's so fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Uh -huh. So here we go there. Why would you? Wouldn't surprise me if it was my home router. But what happens if I enable this? Okay, they're both still connected supposedly, and we've got some IP addresses here: twenty-seven, nineteen. Okay, all right. So I'm going to plug the Ethernet cable in this time. Let's see what it does here. So that's the real goal is to have Wi-Fi and wired connect the same way. Look, instantly, instantly it turns off the onboard Wi-Fi, which is the uh, real tech in this HP. And now I can see this here. So let's see here. Can I go here? Uh, here's the Wi-Fi. Here's the wired. Notice the number 188 here for the Ethernet. This is the wired connection here. So, of course, if I, if I go to right here, right-click, go to Properties. If I go to Internet Protocol 4, hit Properties, and you can see I'm manually forcing it because I don't have uh, a DHCP server. That wired is connected to just a standard switch on a little piece of DIN rail, and it's connected to some uh, Redline I.O., for instance, a Redline HMI. So if I go ping 192.168.1.37, you can see that I'm looking at a 7-inch screen is what that is. Matter of fact, if I open up my browser here just to prove it, and here is the local browser for that screen. I was playing with some stuff, so I'm just using this for testing. But you can see that's what it's seeing there. And then I also have a another product, the Flex Edge, I believe, at address number seventy, connected. Look at here, and uh, it's also connected. It's doing some stuff here too as well. So perfect. Okay. So you can see I'm using the wired connection to talk to some local aisle, and I'm using the wireless to uh, look at stuff on the web. So if I wanted to go to a screen here at the office, notice the IP address is different. So here is a, a G310 located at my office, and here's a G09 located at my office. And notice, so I'm on the web as well. So I'm using, this is so weird, I'm using... The uh, external Wi-Fi, which I'll put the link to what I'm using for that. Now, i got one more test I want to show you. I'm going to disconnect the Ethernet cable from my laptop right now, one, two, three. And then I also have an external USB to Ethernet dude right here, this guy. So let's see if I plug it into him. Connected. There, I plugged it in. Let's see what happens here now. Okay, so let's let's investigate this guy. And I want to point out something to you. Notice here, I have it predefined as address 187. That previous one, the one that's built in, this guy was 188. So this is, now look at this. This is fascinating. With my two USB external Wi-Fi card and a USB to Ethernet, they're both on at the same time. Look, you see that? And if I go over here, 
and do the old IP config again. So here's the external TP-Link thing I'm using, and here's the external wireless uh, thing that's working USB as well. Those are on simultaneously, but I'll be darned if with Windows 10, uh, for some odd reason, I cannot get the real tech onboard Ethernet port and the Wi-Fi Ethernet to work at the same time. Windows 7 worked all day long. I could do it all day. But now Windows 10, I've tried everything, I've searched all the all the forums, and I've tried everything I've found, and I can't get anything to work with the real tech. It seems to be something with the real tech card inside because other people have the same HP, but they have a different Wi-Fi card in them, and it seems to work fine. I've done downloaded the drivers uh, for them. I've done all I can think of. And uh, anyway, this is my workaround, and uh, I will post uh, these part numbers for these parts. This is the wired, uh, I don't know if I can show you here. This one's the TP-Link Gigabit Ethernet USB adapter. I'll show a picture of that and the part number for that. And then this is the Wi-Fi one I'm using. And uh, it is, uh, well, I'll give you the whole part number here. I have a screenshot of where I got it. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do here. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.